So while I was randomly thinking, I was thinking about this problem we've recently completed, where it's 3 to the 1 plus 3 to the 2 plus 3 to the 3 plus 3 to the 4 plus 3 to the 5, so on and so forth, up until some arbitrary number n, and I believe we did like n is equal to 100, and we overflowed way too much when we do that, but that's not the goal of the, the well, it would be nice to get the right answer, but the computer won't store the right answer, it's not fat enough or wide enough, we only have 32 bits. Um, but I was thinking about this problem, and it hit me that changing just a little bit of this problem would cause us to learn some new things in assembly language. But little did I know, as I worked this problem with my son, that it would cause us to learn a lot more new things about assembly language. So let me show you the changes I made to this problem. I'm going to come here and make this a multiply. And I will make this a multiply. So hopefully you see a new pattern here. We have plus, multiply, plus, multiply, plus, multiply, plus, multiply, plus. Every other operation we're changing either from a multiply to a plus or a plus to a multiply. So I'm going to end this video here for two reasons. One, to force you to at least click to the next video. But more importantly, I want you to try to solve this problem on your own. We have made uh, a solution to the problem we had previously with the plus signs. So hopefully it should not be that hard to swap up, swap out every other plus for a multiplication. Okay, so I'll leave that there. And in the next few videos, we're going to solve that problem. But I hope you solve it before you move on to the next video yourself.